Okay, welcome to another tech tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to upload files and folders on a Mac. Again, we are using a Mac uh, to upload files and folders to SharePoint sites. So we're going to first start by going to the Berkeley Start page. On the right hand side, you're going to see Berkeley SharePoint Access. We're going to click on that and we're going to log in with our Berkeley credentials. And just so we're all very, very clear, there is a difference between OneDrive and Sites on Office 365. OneDrive is your personal online storage. Only you have access to that. Uh, of course, you may share files and folders within there, but if you don't, it, no one sees that but you. Sites, which we're going to click on right now, is designed for your entire department or team to use and to update. So whatever you upload, everyone can see, share, and use. So now we're going to go to the faculty portal. And in this case, we're going to choose the history department as an example down here. Now you can see there are already files, there are already folders created. Uh, if you wanted to create more, you would click on new. There's your entire office suite. And of course, you can always do a new folder. Now what makes this process a little bit tricky on a Mac, because this is a Microsoft uh, site, cloud storage site, uh, is that there is an extra step that you have to do compared to the PC. So when you go to upload, you can choose a file and say I want to take um, this AP exam folder right here. It, you notice it will not let me choose the entire uh, folder. It will only let me choose the files inside of it. So what you have to do is recreate the file, the folder rather. So you're going to click on new, go to folder, and I'm just going to type exams. And there it is right there. And now I'm going to go to upload, choose my files and say I want to go back to this AP exams. Notice I can't take the whole folder, but I can take all these files and I'm only going to choose a couple for right now as an example. And then you notice there's two files selected, and they're going to upload. So the extra step here for Mac users as of right now um, is that you have to recreate the folder before you can upload the files in it. Uh, so it does not let you move entire folders uh, on a Mac. You have to recreate the folder and then upload the files. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.